Hey everyone, it's the Aussie. <clears throat> 32 back again. This is 366 days of cards. Day 85, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and today I'm going to be doing a second part of my series of website reviews. I reviewed a bunch of card specific websites last time <clears throat> and made some recommendations on what you should check out. And I'm going to be doing some more today on magic websites and also if you go to my channel to the feed I believe it is you'll see I have 20 links that I have put on my channel for different card and magic related websites go check them out and I'm currently hoping to hear back from a possible sponsor that being Ace King playing card, so hopefully he'll sponsor me, even though I my review on him wasn't that good, I guess you can say. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. <laughs> but anyway, there's a lot of card there's a lot of magic websites out there, and no I don't go to all of them. So I can't review all of them, but I'll review some of them. First one on the list is MagicGeek.com. MagicGeek.com is a pretty good website. They got a good selection of tricks and decks of cards and all sorts of. Uh, they cover all sorts of types of magic, coins, cards, uh, you name it. You know, all sorts of types of magic. They got a good selection. They. Uh, do have a YouTube channel where they post demos of different tricks and I think they do mostly you know cards and coins and stuff like that not so much you know stage magic and stuff like that but it's a pretty good website they, they do some good demos they got some nice girls nice chicks in their demo videos so that's always a, a good thing I guess at least if you're a guy <laughs> um, <clears throat> I have bought quite a f uh, several tricks from them and I've got more on the way Stay tuned for those. And, well, at least the guy's honest. I mean, he is a geek. <laughs> at least he's pretty geeky looking, but it's a good website. There's some great stuff on there. I say check it out. It's on my links. MagicGeek.com. Shipping rates are pretty good. And the speed is pretty good as well week and a half to get something to Canada, about a week and a half to get something to Canada, and the rates, I think about eight dollars, I don't really remember. Alright. And they also like to send out emails, if you're on the mailing list, I'm sure a lot of the websites do, telling you about all the new products they got, and it's always causing me to go and spend more money. Alright, next one on the list is freepostmagic.com, I believe it's .com, or, or freepostmagic.co.uk is what I have. And they also have an eBay store, and it's a shop out of the UK. I haven't really done a whole lot of business with them, however, I did one time at least, I was going to purchase a couple of decks of cards, or one in particular, and then it turns out that he screwed up and it wasn't the one that he thought it was and that I thought it was. Which is an international version of the purple pastel deck that I'm looking for that BM Pro Gold has but they won't sell to me. And that was in an eBay purchase and he gladly refunded that purchase. And so, you know, good, good service, good sales. I don't really know how the shipping is because I didn't actually get anything delivered from them. However, the rates were pretty good. Next on my list is VanishingRabbit.com. It's a Canadian site out of, I believe, Edmonton, Alberta, or Calgary, Alberta. From Alberta, coming over to Calgary or Edmonton. They got a pretty good selection of all sorts of magic, not just cards and coins, but stage magic and whatnot. The service is pretty good, the guy, the owner is Brent, 
and he is known to <clears throat> he does have good communication with me whenever I want to you know ask him something or find out something I've mostly bought decks of cards from him and it's been a while since I bought any because everything he has on his site I've gotten and he doesn't have anything too recent but he's got a decent selection of cards and a good selection of all sorts of magic books, DVDs, props, you name it and he's a good, a good seller he's reasonable sipping rates in Canada to sip to me eight to ten dollars usually it's a little bit more expensive than it is sometimes to sip stuff from the US to Canada to sip within Canada which is kind of ridiculous but yeah it's pretty good no problems although sometimes there have been a couple of times where I've bought something and I find out it doesn't have it it's back ordered more recently I bought I was attempting to buy a carnival Dead Eyes deck, and he didn't have it, and it was back ordered, and it was like weeks and weeks and weeks, and then I finally found it somewhere else, and I said, sorry, I gotta cancel the order, and no problems. Anyway, the next site on my list is MorrisonMagic.com, it's another Canadian site, it's out of Ontario, and it's also pretty good, they got an even bigger selection of playing cards, and they covered just about every magic uh, type of magic. And all these Canadian sites that I'm going to mention, there's one more later on. They do actually have you know physical stores, it's not just an online store. So if you're in those areas and you go to the shop, you can actually talk with these magicians and get advice from them and stuff like that, and learn stuff. Unfortunately, where I am, I don't think there is any magic sauce, so I can't do that. More say magic is pretty good. Never had too many issues, although one time I placed an order and he, I bought a, I think it was a steamboat deck and he sent me a streamline and he apologized and I think he sent me the right one afterwards or he didn't, actually he didn't have any I think so he didn't send it to me but he did send me another deck instead what I can recall. But again, it's been a while since I did any business with him. Next on the list is PenguinMagic.com, one of my favorites. I'm always on there. PenguinMagic.com again covers all sorts of magic. Good selects in the cards. They always send emails advertising the new products and it always sucks me in. So you're going to be seeing more packages from them. I really got to stop it. <laughs> It's like every week they send a package. Uh, yeah, an email, I should say. And same with Magic Geek. And Penguin Magic, I'm not sure if they have it. A YouTube channel. However, they do one thing that's pretty cool that I haven't seen any other Magic or card site do. And that is, depending what you order, if it's going to be sipped in a box, they actually record a video, a boxing video. I do unboxings, they do boxings. They actually have somebody with a nice black mat like this, wearing nice white gloves, take your items and they put them in the box and they tape it up, put the uh, sticker on with your address and I think that's awesome. I was surprised when they first sent me a video of that and they've done it again another time. If it's something in an envelope, they're not going to do it, I don't think. But if it's in a box, they will. That's a pretty cool way of, you know, showing you that they are actually packaging your stuff good. And that they've, you know, packaged it and shipped it. So far, I haven't had any issues with Penguin Magic. Good customer service, uh, as far as I can tell. The uh, shipping rates aren't bad. And whatnot. The next one is mjmmagic.com. mjmmagic.com. I've only done business with them once or twice, and I was to get the 
Crimson Decks from Dan Spiri, who may or may not be Canadian, I can't recall. But Dan Spiri is kind of like Chris Angel for those of you who don't know him. He's into goth and stuff like that. And it's pretty interesting magician. He was actually on America's Got Talent before. Didn't make it very far, but it's very interesting. And I do have his Crimson Decks, and that's where I got them from. No, this is what I watched said. They seem pretty good. They cover all sorts of magic as well. Next is MyMagic.com, which is Mir Yedid's website. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm going to go out, out, out on a limb and guess that he is Jewish. Not, not that that matters, but um, it's a pretty decent website. Again, they like to send out emails advertising their new products. I've gotten a few things from them, including Smiling Assassins deck of cards and the Aldo Kong beating DVDs was through his YouTube or his eBay store I believe. I think he has one of those. Or maybe it was through his website. Some of them were through some of the DVDs were on his website, I think it's somewhere on somebody's eBay. But anyways, he is actually the producer of those DVDs. And they're pretty good. So that's awesome. And yeah, that's it's a good website. A lot of stuff, not too much for uh, cards, playing card selection, but other than that, that's pretty good. Next, another one of my favorites, kwmagic.com, which is kind of magic. I'm not sure how to get kind of magic and then abbreviate it to kwmagic.com. But it is a Canadian website, Canadian store from Ontario as well. And it's pretty good. The guys are pretty nice, they're all in the distance. <coughs> I've never had any problems with their service. In fact, one time they, I bought a gimmick, the diminishing deck, or a shrinking deck, if you will, which I said before one of these days. And because it had been opened in a store by a customer to look at it, they sent me a free rider back, just because it was open. How much better you know, service can you get from that? There was nothing wrong with the item, it was just open for the customer to see, so they sent me a free deck, just for that. And, you know, I've had nothing but a pleasure doing business with this guy. It's good, good customer service. Shipping rate's not bad. He's got a pretty good selection of decks of cards, all sorts of cards, Atari cards, uh, Star Wars, AC, DC, any kind of deck you can imagine, he has it as well as some of the newer ones. Although again, I haven't done too much business with him lately. He also produced a series of videos on a YouTube channel, Kind of Magic. Search for it. <clears throat> Let me just check how long this video is going. He produced a series of videos on YouTube. He hasn't done any in a while. Uh, the channel is Kind of Magic. I'm not sure if it's still around. I'm guessing it is. And these videos were basically a public service announcement. He would do these videos every week or two showing you different products that he got that were crap and that you should avoid. And I thought that was awesome. That's good customer service. You know, tell the customers, this is not that good. You may want to avoid it. Even one time he did playing cards. The Magic Castle playing cards. He had one deck that the were actually pretty good. I don't remember if it's red or blue. And then the other color was absolute crap. It didn't fan or anything like that. I'm guessing one of them was maybe a card of Moon Day and the other was someone else, possibly. Anyway, moving along is Fury11.com. Fury11.com, we all know it. Some of us love it, some of us hate it. I'm in the middle. <laughs> it's a love hate thing. They produce a lot of decks of cards, they have lots of different types of card and coin related magic and whatnot, as you all know. <clears throat> Fairy 11 sipping rates, not too bad. My issue with Fairy 11 is they sometimes like to say, oh we got all these new decks coming out, but wait, all we did is emboss the box. Or we sign it up. We chrome the decks. That's that's what Fury Eleven does a lot of the time. They say, "Oh, we're releasing new decks," but then all they did was they put it in a new, sign a new box with 
in Boston, or they just chromed the uh, the cards. They t made the you know titanium decks, and that to me is not you know that great. I prefer some originality, some nice new design, like the Blue Crown did recently with the Vaudeville deck. And that's what I got to say about 311. Next, surprise, surprise, is Illusionist. Now, Illusionist is another pretty good website that, again, some people love, some people hate. <clears throat> they do have a wide, uh, pretty good selection of magic, especially related to cards and coins and stuff like that. And they do produce some nice decks, just like three of them. Unfortunately, there's been some issues, like when they released the Red Artifice deck, and all hell broke loose, and then what happened in that instance was, you know, they said, okay, we're going to sell a deck at whatever time it was. The site crashed, and then they brought it back online. It was super, super slow. People couldn't get their orders through, and a lot of people were pissed off, myself included, because we felt that it would not have been unreasonable for them to say, okay, we're going to postpone the sale. If you, if you purchased the deck, great. If you didn't, hold on. We're going to fix the website, get it running better, and then we'll release the decks. But they didn't do that. They let the website move at a snail's pace, and a lot of us got screwed, in my opinion, because we just could not get through. <coughs> But uh, it's pretty good. It's one of the first websites that I came across when I started doing card magic. And I got their free videos and I learned some tricks. And I was very happy with that. That's really great. They give you some free tricks right off the bat just by signing up for whatever. And again, they produce some nice cards. And unlike the Fury 11, they don't just put a titanium thinness on the cards or put them in a signing e box. They haven't done that yet and I don't expect them to do that. Okay, next is danaday.com. Again, very similar to the other two I just mentioned. A lot of card magic and I guess coin magic and stuff like that. These guys are very popular in the card community and they produce a lot of nice decks. But they've produce, been producing just a little bit too many decks. It seems like they're releasing a deck every month almost. And it's getting a little bit ridiculous. But they are nice decks. <clears throat> and everyone is gearing up for the uh, next Smoke and Mirrors deck, which may be the last one, who knows. Then again, they probably said that for the last couple of decks. And. One thing I know about Dan and Dave is shipping rates seem to be a little bit more expensive at times, but not too, too bad. It depends where you live. I've heard of some customer service issues, but I've never had any issues myself. The next is the BlueCrown.com, and this is one of my favorite websites, I gotta say. They do have they don't have that much magic on it, and what they do have is mostly card related, maybe some coin stuff. <clears throat> and they've released a few different decks. Well, they released the crown decks, two versions, and the black crowns, and now the Vaudeville deck. The decks are really nice. They also have the white arcos as well. <clears throat> the decks are really nice. I like them. And these guys are really, really nice. One time, when they released the Black Crowns, they had some issues. At the time they released, they were moving from one warehouse to another. There was delays. So what did they do? They gave everyone free Black Crowns. Now, with the new deck release, they're giving people prizes for buying stuff. Plus, not to mention free downloads on a couple of tricks that you can do with the new deck. These guys are always, you know, going out there and giving people free decks other stuff for free <clears throat> and not because they have to but because they want to and I think it's really great and I definitely recommend the checking out their cards and their website and definitely pick up that Vaudeville deck if you haven't 
And the sipping rates are not bad. Although, the past couple of times when I've bought cards from them, it did take a little, it, you know, it took like a week or whatever before it was shipped out. The, the one with the black crowns, there was that delay. But they made it worthwhile by adding in a black crown. This one, it was shipped almost right away, so that was great. Dan and Dave, that time they do also sometimes have, you know, delays in shipping. Same with like 311, I guess. Especially when they have these big releases, but it is what it is. Next on our list, uh, in Carded.com, they had a new deck, the Tendril, and they are working on another deck. I don't know too much about them. They don't have too much going on yet, but look for them to become, you know, more important later on. Then there is, I'll talk about BeDeceived.com. <clears throat> Pretty good website. Uh, if you have the style deck, they do have a couple of, which is sold out, and they do have a couple of tricks. And it could be the next illusion of Mr. Fury 11 for all I know. Same with Encarded. Then there's the MagicApple.com. It's a website out of the States. They produced a Houdini deck of cards, which wasn't, you know, the nicest deck of cards, but it was bicycle stock and finish, so that was a bonus. And they do have a variety of magic products, but I've only bought the one thing from them, so I can't really tell you. Properly reviewed them. Then there's David Blaine's website, davidblaine.com, and of course he releases a whole bunch of decks from time to time. And they're really good decks, really good quality. And he sells some other, mostly decks actually, he doesn't really sell any tricks. But it's worth mentioning anyways. <clears throat> Sipping is not bad. Unfortunately, it seems like stuff sells out pretty quickly on his website. <clears throat> then there is Skullcore.com, a relatively new website. Kind of like in Carter to be deceived. They really don't have too much going on. But they got potential. And they do have some decks of cards that came out. And I've gotten them. I'm waiting for them. I don't know if they sip yet or not. <clears throat> then there's magicnevin.com which is out of the UK I believe I've never done business with them that I can recall but I think they have an eBay store as well correct me if I'm wrong and well that's all I can think of to say about them I don't know too much about them um, there's many other you know magic websites and stores out there another one is Tannins from New York very well known. I've never actually, well, I've never been to that store, and I've never actually bought anything off the website as of yet. But you never know. But it seems to be very popular. A lot of people like going there when they go to New York. So I think it's New York, but uh, yes, yeah, so check it out if you go to New York or check out the website. Another one I found recently, although I've been having some issues with, is Houdini.com, which is, I guess it's based on Houdini. They have different types of card magic and other magic. And they do have some decks coming out. The Bicycle Maiden backs, which are kind of like a new version of the Rider backs or the Mandolin backs. And they're going to be making, you know, stripper decks and Stangali decks with this back design. It's kind of similar to the Mandolin back or the Rider back. And I'm trying to get some, but seems to be issues with the website. I haven't been able to place an order. See if I can think of anything else really, really quickly. Okay, there's also uh, handlords.com. Handlords.com is the site that sells the Blades decks. They also sell a few other types of cards, some bicycles, tally hills, bees, I believe. <clears throat> Pretty good business. I was able to pick up the new Blades decks, and they have shipped to me. Shipping rates are a little bit higher. They're actually charging me originally close to thirty dollars for shipping, but then I noticed that there was something on the website that said they will refund the difference, and it did refund fourteen dollars, which made it a lot more affordable. And I appreciate that. Uh, but they did have some good, you know, <clears throat> the customer service was pretty good. They responded to my email about that and said they would refund me, no problem. 
So that's good. And the blade stacks are really good as well. Really nice. <coughs> and I think that's all I can think of. If you think of any sites that I missed, let me know. I'll talk. I can do more videos. The only ones I didn't really mention were eBay and Amazon. <coughs> and I won't get into those. Anyways, I think I'm starting to lose my voice. And this has been 25 minutes long. I apologize for it being so long. And for it being so late. But that's it for today. Maybe tomorrow unboxing videos. Who knows? Hopefully. We'll see. And I'll see you next time.